In my previous video, I created a sample weather advisor using Python and DeepSeek. In today's video, I am going to implement a MCP server using the same functionality. So I am building a very basic MCP server using Python for getting the weather information about a location that is given by the user. So let me show the demo first. I already connected this MCP server with my cloud desktop app. So let's try asking a question. Tell me the weather about New York. Application opens the MCP weather app. I am going to allow this app to run with cloud and fetch live weather information. Here it fetches the uh, weather information with the details like temperature, wind speed, weather code, etc. So let's try another question. What is the weather in Chicago? Is it a good time to visit? It gives a detailed answer about the weather and it also gives suggestions like whether we can visit that place or not. Now let's try another question. Weather in Bangalore. Which vehicle would you prefer to travel? Car or bike? Here also it gives a detailed weather information plus the answer to the user's question. Now we can check how we can implement this MCP tool. Here I am using Python SDK to build this MCP server. You need to install UV. UV is a fast Python package manager, a modern high performance alternative to tools like pip, pip tools and virtual env. So make sure you have installed UV. First create a project folder, let's say weather app and open it in any code editor. I am using Visual Studio as the code editor. Now run the command uv init. This will initialize a new python project in the current directory with virtual env, python version, dependencies, etc. Next we have to run this command uv add mcp cli. This will install the mcp package along with its optional cli dependencies. This sets up everything you need to run, develop and use the mcp command line interface. Once you complete the installation, you can find a main.py where we can add our main functionality. Fast MCP. This creates an MCP server instance named Weather Advisor. This name will show up in your toolset in Cloud. In this code, MCP tool is a decorator. It registers a Python function as a MCP tool. So it can be called by a language model like Cloud via the model context protocol. Here our main method is the open weather app. From the cloud app, when the app is triggered, it actually calls this method and returns the result. Here you can see a doc string which is very important. We have to add this doc string so that the LLM like cloud can understand the tool and they can call the tool. When the user asks a question, it passes the context to this function through the parameter query. Uh, the function extract location is used to extract the location name from the user prompt. For example, if the user asks what is the weather in New York, here we only need the location name which is New York. So we need to extract that location name from this string. For that, I use pattern match and extracted the location name. Then I passes this location name to the function get lat long. This method returns the latitude and longitude of the given location. For this, we need to use Python library called GeoPy. And finally, pass this latitude and longitude to the method called getWeather. This method uses a free API called OpenMeta. We can pass the latitude and longitude to this endpoint and this API will return the temperature, wind speed and weather code. We map the weather code using this array and get the corresponding string and this will be the final result from the MCP tool.
This result will pass to the LLM which is the cloud app and it uses this result to make a more informative output. So that's all about the script that we using in this tool. I will share the complete script in the description. So this is the overall flow of this functionality. Extract the location name, find the latitude and longitude and then fetches the weather information using the API and returns the result to LLM. Once we complete the script, we can run this command to add this MCP tool to cloud app. This will add the tool to the cloud desktop app. To verify the tool, go to file settings developer tab. There you can see the tool is listed. If it's not listed, try restarting the cloud desktop app. Make sure you close all the running processes in Windows. Sometimes you will find the failed status because of some library missing or other issues. To check and debug this, click this debug button and open the corresponding log file. There you can see the issue. You can fix this issue and restart the cloud app. Now you can check the tool with different prompts. I will share the whole code and step by step instructions in the description box. If you found this video helpful, please consider to subscribe and like the video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.